It was my idea. Anyway, before we break, it was a year ago that Sarah Palin called that surprise news conference out there on the lawn in Wasilla to announce she was quitting as Alaska governor. David Letterman had a lot of fun with that. Friday, she announced she would be stepping down as governor of Alaska and would not seek re-election. Yeah. So here we have now the, uh, the uh, top ten messages left on her machine after that controversial announcement. Number ten. Hi, it's George W. Bush. Why didn't anyone tell me resigning was an option? Number nine. <laughs> Uh, number nine, it's John McCain. Uh, why did I call? <laughs> number eight, Mark Sanford here. Ever been to Argentina? <laughs> uh, number seven, I'm calling from Geico to see if you want to renew your dog sled insurance. <laughs> uh, number six, it's Letterman. We still cool? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, number five, McCain again. Still no idea why I called. Number four. <laughs> Hi, it's the dry cleaner having trouble getting caribou blood out of your Prada jacket. Uh huh. Uh, number three. Hi, it's Sarah. Whoops, dialed my own number. Yeah. Uh, number two, Schwarzenegger here. If you want a job, California could use a new governor. Ah. And the number one message on Sarah Palin's answering machine. Hey, it's McCain. Who would have thought you'd retire before I did? Well, there you go. Well, she doesn't look too retired these days. And when we come back, we take a look. How's that decision to quit working out for Palin? And is she going to run against Obama? That's the big question. Plus,